there was a prediction that more people would die from 9-11 from the illnesses than died on 9-11 itself. And that seemed inconceivable to most people at the time. You know, for years they said we cried wolf. We didn't cry wolf, the wolf ate us. The, the onus used to be on us to prove that 9-11 got us sick. The onus is now on them to prove 9-11 didn't get us sick. 10 years later, we're still trying to build awareness and we're still trying to get the medical treatments that actually work. The response to the 9-11 victims is a travesty. I mean, there's the, um, you know, there are various medical programs. Some people like them, but uh, as far as I can see, they are administering a lot of steroids. It looks to me like a one-size-fits-all kind of response here. Whatever your problem is, we treat the symptom, not the underlying cause. Here's a steroid, and uh, good luck. After 10 years of contamination that was consciously inflicted on the people of New York by the Bush administration and now by the Obama administration, you cannot say to the people of New York, prove you're being hurt. I thought, um that all these symptoms would have cleared up, but they haven't. It, what I have is, is just here, and some of it has gotten worse. They do everything. Pay your taxes, serve your country, sacrifice your life, uh, become injured, wounded, but uh, that's it. The government says, hi, bye. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. I was pretty much a health freak. So now all of a sudden, I get, I get throat cancer. They tell me it's not recognized. There are hundreds of thousands of people seriously ill that are not being cared for. We were guinea pigs, every one of us. We were just a number down there. It was an act of war, and in an act of war, people die. That's how they looked at us. Problem is, we are dying 10 years later. To be violated to that degree doesn't fit our images. And so we respond by, with outrage. We re respond with fear. You know, the nation has been predominantly fearful since that time. It's run our government, it's run our social, you know, institutions. It's really, you know, something that needs to change. A lot of horrible things happen in this world, but let's remember who we are and let's help each other and love each other. And that, I think, raised the bar of consciousness on the planet. And everyone realized, and you know, we have to take care of each other. As people are personally affected by the disasters going on around them and then to them, they're going to start asking some very profound questions. We need to be part of the healing of 9-11. Not only people who are suffering health issues, but healing our entire world, our economy, everything. It's all rolled up into this. It's continuing on a downward spiral, I feel, until this is done. The world is in a sad situation. And until we change it, it's going to remain that way. The way we treat things, the way we do things, the way we handle things, we have to change the way that we even look at life. You don't just fix that problems overnight. And we keep on creating them, so you can't stop fixing them until you stop creating them. We are in a creative crisis, and that creative crisis is affecting our economy. And we have to change that. We have to regain, we have to wake up to bring our nation, to bring this world back to a level of, of play where we, can, where we can feel safe, where we feel supported, where we can nurture each other and work together in a cooperatively uh, creative way. I'm going to make this big plastic uh, trade towers and fill it with all my medications. 
pieces of art that represent the pause that we've all been going through for the last 10 years since 9-11.